Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Metin Language, and we're going to tackle Slovene's formula, finding the margin of error. So in our previous video, hinanap natin dito yung sample size sa Slovene's formula also. So yung formula natin, that will be sample size is equal to population over the quantity of 1 plus the quantity population times mo ng margin of error square. So para refresher lang ating mga variables natin, Small letter N is sample size. Capital N natin, that will be the population. And yung small letter E will be the margin error. So, paano naman natin haanapin ang margin of error sa Slovene's formula? We can use this formula. So, the margin of error is equal to the quantity. Dun sa numerator muna, that will be the population over mo ng sample size. Tapos yung sagot niya, ma-minus mo ng 1. That's the numerator part. So, the denominator... Just divide it by the population, which is the capital N. Right, so let's have some example. Example number one. What is the margin of error if the total sample is 300 from a population of 8,000? So it's a straightforward. Alam na natin yung population size that is 8,000 and yung sample size natin is 300. So paano na natin hanapin yung margin of error? So first, lagi natin yung formula. So nalagi ka na yung formula. Next, is substitute na natin yung mga given. So that will be sa numerator part muna tayo. Population is 8,000. So that's the capital N. 8,000 over muna 300. Tapos, minus ng 1. Yung sagot sa 8,000 over 300, mamayos mo ng 1. Tapos yung sagot niyan, i-divide natin ng 8,000. Now, sa numerator part, ang sagot ay 25.66. So repeating decimal yung 6, okay? So, copy lang natin yung denominator over 8,000. Now, before we get the square root, isagutin muna natin yung 25.66, yung repeating decimal yan, over mo ng 8,000. So, the answer is 0 0.0032083, repeating decimal 3. I suggest, if you're going to do this, tapat diretso sa, sa calcube. So, pag mo siya sa calcube, 8,000 over 300, yung sagot minus ng 1, Divide mo siya ng 8,000 at yun magiging sagot mo. Now, we're going to take the square root at ang square root niya ay 0 0.056642. Okay, for margin of error, inaarap natin dito ay percent. So, we have to multiply it by 100 then that's the time we're going to put the percent sign. So, the final answer for this one is 5.66%. So, yung margin of error dun sa tanong na if the total sample is 300, from a population of 8,000, ang margin of error mo ay 5.66%. Okay, so example number 2 tayo. What is the precision level if the total sample is 400 from a population of 9,000? Okay, precision level ang hinahanap. Hindi to margin of error. So, paano naman natin, natin hanapin ang precision level? So, we have the formula. Ang margin of error is 100%. Minus mo ng precision level. Okay? So, para maanap ang precision level, precision level is equal to 100% minus mo dun sa margin of error. So, para masolve tong problem na to, we have to find the margin of error first. So, dahil meron na tayong sample size and the population, we can solve it man. So, let's place the formula. And next step, we can now substitute the given. So, let's start with the numerator. We have 9,000 over 400 minus mo ng 1. Yung sagot yan, divide natin ng 9,000. So, sa numerator part, that will be 21.5. So, divide natin ng 9,000. And the answer will be 0 0.00238, repeating decimal. After that one, we have to take the square root of that one, of the answer, and that will be 0 0.048876. And again, for margin of error, dapat naka-percent siya. So, for this one, yung answer mo, the times mo ng 100, then add the percent sign. So, the final answer for margin of error is 4.89%. Ano ba yung pinakasagot natin? No. We're looking for the precision level. So, going back to the formula, precision level is 100% minus mo dun sa margin of error, which is 4.89%. So, ang precision level, yung pinakasagot natin dito ay 95.11%. Alright, 
Always remember, precision level ay tinatawag din confidence level. So, parehas lang sila. Depende lang sa professor nyo or dun sa textbook. Okay, so mini quiz tayo. What is the confidence level if the total sample is 398 from a population of 100,000? Remember, confidence level is the same as margin of error. So, I'll give you 5 to 10 seconds. You may want to pause the video and I will give you the answer and also the solution. Time's up, and the answer, the confidence level is 95% for this question. Alright, so paano natin nakuha yung 95% na confidence level? Again, we have to find out first the margin of error. Since we have the population size and the sample size, so I will place the formula. After that, I will substitute the given. So for the numerator part, we have 100,000 over 398. Yung sagot yan, minus natin ng 1. As a denominator part natin, that's, that is just 100,000 kasi population lang. Now, let's simplify the numerator part. So, sa calculator nyo, 100,000 divide mo ng 398. Yung sagot niyan, i-minus mo ng 1, you will arrive to 250.25628. Okay, don't round it up or estimate muna. Diretso lang tayo. I-divide natin siya ng 100,000. And ang sagot ay 0 0.00250. Ngayon, Kukunin natin yung square root niyan to get the margin of error, which is 0 0.0500. Okay? Now, margin of error is dapat naka-percent. So, you have to multiply it by 100. That will be 5% and add the percent sign. But since they are asking for the confidence level, again, confidence level and precision level are just the same. So, your margin of error natin, that will be... 100% minus the confidence level or precision level. So, confidence level is 100% minus mo dun sa margin of error of 5%. So, that's dun nakuha yung 95% na precision level. Alright, so that's the end of the video about Slovene's formula, finding the margin of error. Next video natin will be about finding the population size. So, we have the formula of the capital N is equal to the negative sample size over the quantity n e square minus natin ng 1. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or comment assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.